Hello there. Welcome back to the shop. So today we're going to give this newly finished Maxi CNC router. Incidentally, all the drawings and specifications and parts list and pricing. Uh, if you want to build one of these yourself, uh, will be available on my Patreon pages in a couple of days. So, today we're going to give it a fairly decent desk drive. So, I have a piece of three quarter pine here, it's about well, five inches wide. Uh, small job for a machine like this, but I'm going to do a 3D carving in this and um, it's going to be about a quarter of a million lines of gold. So I'm going to use uh, Cavco Maker Plus to put this together and I will make it a separate video for that for those of you who are interested. And also, as we're mentioning Cavco, uh, below this video in the video description area there is a discount code there for the Cavco programs. Also there's a discount there if you have to pay for it for Fusion 360. And also if you like my videos and like what I'm doing uh, I could certainly need some help as it were because uh, you know the ad revenue just isn't there anymore. And uh, it is the patrons behind this uh, channel that keep the channel going. So if you would like to help out and become a patron, also that information is uh, below this video as well. Okay, so I'm going to jump on the calf call and when we come back we'll set this job up and we'll cut it. So what I'm going to do now is press ref all in Mac 3 and reference itself. reasons the CNC router references over in this corner is because it makes it easy to change tools right here so you don't have to lean over the, the machine as such. So we're going to start this small test 3D cut with a 10 millimeter two flute end mill actually which is fairly perfect for the job. So this is the machine coordinates. So for the work offset you have to switch that off so this goes out. Now this is left over from the last uh, job that I did on here. So what we're going to do is come up to file, load g-code and there it is there 10 millimeter ml roughing so Mac 3 thinks, thinks that the beginning of this job is over there somewhere. Well, it is fairly close, but uh, we have to be exact. And so we're going to reset now the new work offset. So using the keypad on the computer now, I'm going to drive this over and set the new work offset here. So I've marked an X on the material here, so with the two flute uh, tool it's very easy to set up. I'll do the X and Y first, so I need to come over a little, a little bit more maybe. That'll do for the Y, oh sorry, that will do for the X and the Y. A tiny bit more. Check that. That looks pretty good. Now then for the Z, the easiest way, bit of paper, jog down very slowly, keep the, if I can get hold of it, keep the paper moving, 
There it is. Just trap that, and I'll show you what to do in Mag 3 now to zero all that. Okay, to zero that now, it's, all you do is come up to the DRO windows here, X0, Y0, Z0, and a very, very important step now, and that is to regen the toolpaths and watch what happens in the observation window here. Look at that. So Mac 3 has reconfigured it, says, okay, I know where it is now, and we can now continue. And these are these are the tool paths. So I'm just going to raise it up now off the work a ways, normally about 10 millimeters, something like that. And um, we'll start it up and cut this 3D piece of work. Okay, after a bit of a haircut, and a lot of people ask me, um, how do you get the new Z0 for the new tool? Well, very simple. You know, all this material is flat. Uh, I could either do it here or anywhere on this material that hasn't been cut. Uh, and if, if all the material if it was uh, was trimmed down. All you'd need is just a, a cut off piece of this material, put somewhere on the area with, where your material is clamped to, and you can Z0 off that. So, same trick again, bit of paper underneath here, bring it down very quietly until it just touches the paper like a magnet, and we'll zero that and do the next finishing cut.
Now the only thing I've done is trim the sides off. A 3D eagle. I think it was made larger on a larger piece. Uh, obviously the detail will come out more but for a test piece to uh, see how this new CNC router cuts pretty damn good and uh, very little finishing uh, in fact I haven't actually touched this other than cut the outside off and it's made a, a lovely little plaque and uh, I'm really pleased so there it is, finished and running. So the next video is going to be uh, a new project. Uh, it's going to be a laser project uh, that I hope you're all going to like. So if you've liked this video, please like and subscribe. And uh, if you really like what I'm doing, uh, please consider becoming a patron. Patron information will Patreon information is below this video in the video description area where you'll also find a discount code for CAVCO, any of the CAVCO programs and also Fusion 360 if you require to purchase it. So that's about it and uh, thank you for calling in and I hope you've enjoyed the video. So it's uh, bye now till next time.